Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG, the internet's last mistake. I'm your host, Will Pussy, though, my lime out then today. We're going to take a look at, well, I'm going to unbox something, but before I talk about it or show you what it is, although you probably already know from looking at the thumbnail, make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button and stuff. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Funko Pops. Now, Pop the Greens are kind of a horrible little addiction because some of these are just great. I mean, this thing, just, just great. And then some of them are wonderfully detailed and interesting to me, like this Dalek. Yay, I like that. And then, like, one thing that people kind of criticize Funko for is, well, a lot of their people kind of look a little strange with, like, the little, uh, the little black eyes, right? The little dot eyes. I understand that that can weird some people out, for those people, there's rock candy. By the way, um, if I could get a rock candy Carmen San Diego, I would pre-order that immediately. Because, like, Funko San Carmen San Diego is fantastic, but I would love a rock candy one. But yeah, that's what we're not, that's what we're here to talk about, actually. We're here to talk about Agretsuko from, uh, the TV show Agretsuko. Now, the main character of Agretsuko kind of looks like her pop in design. Here's the side of the box. Here's the uh, back of the box. There's three in this series. There's Agretsuko with Chainsaw. Agretsuko Rage! And, uh... Okay. Yeah, there's three here for Agretsuko, right? 21, 22, 23. But I look at that and I'm like... Where are her friends? We all know which friends we're talking about that we all want a pop figurine of. Also, this is, um... I'm not sure how many uh, Sanrio... Um, things are that are made by a uh, you know how many things from Funko are from Sanrio. I'll have to look that up at some point. But yeah, I feel there needs to be more Egretsuko. I like the fact that this one kind of looks a bit like her character does. Actually, you know, here's the top of the box. Look at that! Yay! This just came out. I didn't intend to buy it, but then I was like, oh, I'm checking GameStop for rare Wii controllers. You know, so we can a little Wii Classic stuff. And then, like, there it is. I'm like, oh, I need this in my life. And what turns out, though, they only got two of these in. One that someone pre-ordered, one of the employees pre-ordered it, and then they sent him a duplicate. This was the duplicate. So this was the only one they had there. And I'm like, oh, I kind of need that. They had the Agretsuko Rage one, but if I'm going to get an Agretsuko Raging one, it'd be one with the chainsaw. Which, by the way, the eyes are blanked out like they're supposed to be on that pop figurine. Which reminds me, at some point, I need to pick up the Bulbasaur one and then do a thing here and just talk about how great Bulbasaur is. And then maybe repaint it so I can fix the eyes. Anyways, <laughs> this one though, you don't have to do that at all. And she's not a bobblehead figurine like what happens with all the Star Wars stuff due to licensing. Anywho, the only thing about Agretsuko is I look at Agretsuko and it makes me want them to do something like, okay, I feel that Pokemon Company knows what they're doing, but Nintendo needs to get into the Funko game. I mean, come on. You know you'd buy pop figurines of Isabelle or other Animal Crossing characters. I know I would. I'd buy, like, multiple ones, because one for me and then one for my family. Well, yeah, they'd be like, oh, you're all getting Funko Pops this year. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is Agretsuko. Here's the bottom of the box for those who are interested in that. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up. I know people who are like, I'm an inbox collector. Yeah, I don't care. You've seen me do this with Amiibo. I really don't care about their box. <gasps> no! Oh, 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 she's got a stand. Those ones usually are kind of a little trouble, the stands. But it depends on the character. I've got some rock candy ones that kind of lean over a bit. Um, like, uh, this Jessica Rabbit one, which means I should get the, oh, her, um, head moves. So she can want, watch you from afar. And put her on my desk. And she can watch me work. Woo! Okay, there we go. See? I mean, look at this. Look at this and tell me how great Animal Crossing Pop Funko characters would be. I mean, come on, look at the detail here. She looks great. Here's her little guy, little tail. Yeah. And here's the bottom of the figurine. Here's the top of the figurine. This stuff here is like, why 
senpai, why? Okay, there we go. And that's, uh, that's Agatsuko from Funko. Pretty great. Um, this is going somewhere um, in like the, I'm trying to decide where I put it on the shelf outside or um, if she's going to be one of the ones slowly populating the kitchen. That's, that's slowly happening, but, oh, God, red pandas are so great. They're, they're essentially like raccoons, if I remember correctly, but, uh, yeah, just great. When they announced this character, I was just like, okay, the thing about Sanrio is they, Sanrio's big thing is nothing sharp. That's kind of their big thing. They can't, you can have, uh, you can have, um, Hello Kitty all over feminine hygiene products, but you can't have Hello Kitty on sharp scissors. They have to be safety scissors. Now, I don't know if those exist, if those types of restrictions exist for like, say, Kiropi or Agretsuko. I would imagine they don't. But I'd like to see Sanrio really, really exploit the heck out of that franchise. Which, by the way, is on Netflix. You should go check it out. Um, I'm a little bit biased because some of my friends worked on the script. So, uh, yeah. Check that one out if you haven't already. But yeah, um, what do you think of Agretsuko? What do you think of this pop figurine? Do you need it or do you need it? And uh, hit that comment section below. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and then ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.